With the third largest tropical forests, 17% of bird species and 10% of plant species worldwide, Indonesia is a country blessed with natural assets. Nature is a major source of wealth when it comes to food, water, medicine, fibre, fuel and marine ecosystems. In this country, forests support local communities' livelihoods, such as this Dayak tribe in central Kalimantan, performing a ritual to start planting. Since the time of their ancestors, to this day, the Dayaks strive to coexist harmoniously with Mother Nature. Jadi menabur beras itu, alat komunikasi tadi memberitahukan kepada lingkungan ini bahwa alam ini kita gunakan begitu. Kita gunakan untuk tempat berladang, tempat membuat rumah, tempat berkebun, atau ini tetap dilestarikan. Jadi tidak macam-macam, tidak mengganggu kita dan kita juga tidak apa namanya mengganggu mereka juga karena ada hubungan kehidupan antara alam lingkungan apapun yang ada terkandung dalamnya dengan umat manusia yang ada. Its fast growing economy places Indonesia among top emerging countries. But with heavy dependence on extraction of natural wealth, policymakers are beginning to realize the urgent need for a sustainable course of development. We can choose to continue to exhaust the present course, the same course that has been in place for decades and centuries. A world where we obsessively chase after economic growth without regard for ethics or the environment. A world driven by greed rather than need. We can opt for a different way, a new way that could guarantee a better future for world economies and citizens. President Yudhoyono pledged to cut emissions by 26% from business as usual levels and up to 41% with outside assistance by 2020. Norway, being a major proponent of reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation, or RED+, Plus, welcomed the initiative and committed up to $1 billion for successful emissions reduction through Red Plus in Indonesia, for the first time putting real value on intact forests. The government issued a two-year moratorium on new licenses on primary forests and peatlands. The country's Red Plus task force also created a national strategy for Red Plus that goes beyond carbon into sustainable development. Indonesia is a developing country, and as I mentioned, uh, that we change our paradigm in which we try to have the forest intact, uh, the tree uh, standing, but at the same time, we improve our people's welfare. So basically, it comes to uh, a challenge to fight poverty. To assist Red Plus and future development policies, the task force has started the One Map Initiative to integrate different maps currently used by various government bodies. Uh, it is, I think, crucial. It's critical. As you know, now Indonesia has several maps floating around and several maps, several maps that sectors and local governments refer to. In red, you have to have certainty. Red is a 30-year thing. So that is, I think that's very critical to have this one map. This effort is supported by other stakeholders. Indigenous Peoples Alliance, AMAN, is mapping customary lands throughout the archipelago. They aspire to incorporate this later into the national one map. Masyarakat adat harus menunjukkan dirinya ada dan memberikan data-data yang akurat tentang dirinya, tentang wilayah adatnya, tentang sejarahnya ke pihak penyelenggara negara. Ya. Jadi ini semacam inisiatif untuk mengurangi konflik-konflik di masa depan.
To try out Red Plus implementation, Central Kalimantan has been appointed as a pilot province. Here, virgin rainforests abound, as well as protected species like orangutans. However, the province is also facing environmental degradation, with great swaths of peatlands and forest being cleared. Yang paling penting adalah bagaimana mensosialisasikan rakyat untuk menjaga, untuk menanam, dan kemudian uh, tidak lagi berpikir untuk menebang. Mm -hmm. Mereka harus berpikir bahwa dengan menjaga hutan, memelihara hutan, itu akan memperoleh nilai positif. Mm -hmm. Baik dari segi ekonomi, mm -hmm. baik juga dari segi keuangan, dari segi pendidikan, kesehatan, dan lain sebagainya. Every year, Indonesia's forests and dried peatlands burn, releasing millions of tons of emissions to the atmosphere and affecting the health of people at home and in neighboring countries. One activity that directly contributes to cutting emissions and responds to requests from local communities is training on fire management. Mengolah lahan tanpa bakar memang perlu biaya yang cukup besar sehingga bagi warga kami ini secara umum memang maunya murah dan cepat satu-satunya yaitulah dibakar. Alhamdulillah bahwa dari pihak Red ini mempelopori memberikan peralatan kepada masyarakat khususnya yang pada hari ini di desa Gerantung ikan memberikan motivasi kepada warga saya untuk menyiapkan diri, tidak membuat api. Red Plus pilot projects have shown that another important element to reducing deforestation is the development of alternative livelihoods for local communities. Income, livelihood and well-being is a major, their major focus of communities. So in order for protection, uh, conservation to work, you cannot you cannot leave that that out. You know, it's an important component of. You have to look at it in a um, comprehensive, you know, an integral. It's an integral part, I think. It's conservation of conservation. Such a project is happening in central Kalimantan, where local women are assisted to produce and market rattan products. Karena kemajuannya kemajuan sekarang, jadi para ibu-ibu melupakanlah keterampilan kami yang dulu yang nenek moyang kami dulu. Jadi kemarin ada yang terbentuk, sifatnya terbentuk untuk pelatihan anyaman rotan. Jadi saya mengusulkan anyaman rotan biar ibu-ibu di sini punya keterampilan, biar budaya daya kami muncul kembali untuk desa Hendak ini. Bisa membantu untuk menambah eh penghasilan keluarga gitu. While training with ecological and economical value is particularly important among forest-dependent communities, it's only a stepping stone towards a greater goal. It's part of the larger government scheme called Sustainable Growth with Equity and the vision to move beyond carbon. In pursuing such a course, Red Plus is helping both the developed and developing world in the fight against climate change and in moving towards sustainable development. And for Indonesia, poverty elevation is the conditions in the Kawanon if you want to maintain your forest. That is for me, that's the most important one. And if other countries wants to participate with the effort that we have in Indonesia, they are welcome to join. Poverty elevation, green economy, that's something really important if you want to maintain, to protect your forest. And that's the essence of Red Plus. In and around the forests, 
indigenous peoples and local communities need to be supported to continue protecting forests as a way of life, identity and culture. The forest is part of the past, present and future, not just for these forest communities, but for Indonesia and the world. <laughs>